Oh, we'll, we'll do something different. Instead, we're going to do something a little like this. Hey, John. Oh, that, that Sherman is just... Please, stay in a straight line. Yep. <clears throat> that was just beautiful. Just So, I consider naming this video Stalin's Own, but I don't know, maybe I should save that for a better IS series tank. I don't know. Or maybe I can make like a part one, part two sort of thing. Yeah, that could work, actually. I'm going to do that shit. So what is going on guys, it's your boy Garage Gaming here and today I'd like to show you the IS-1 heavy tank. I've had this little fucker for a little while now and you know, it's starting to get a bit, you know, weird. I, mean, I think I've done videos on this thing in the past, but yeah, you know, it, it's a fun tank. I, I'm not going to lie, I think this thing's quite underrated actually, compared to like most vehicles. I think this thing holds a good, like, underrated title. I think its armor is quite trolly. Like that right there. Hey Johnny. What, 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 what fired on me? I don't, I don't even know what that is. I don't even care. Must have been something US or American, so... US or American, fucking Jesus. US or British, so, you know, that, that must work. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, that Challenger must have shit 20 bricks and then proceeded to die from a heart attack. <laughs> That was fucking insane. He just came around the corner and was like, Oh, hello. I am FC-152. You die now. That was pretty funny. That's it we got. So if I go for the cap... Holy fuck! I think this guy realises that his side armour is like about as thin as thin as a Taiwanese condom. Like, it's not gonna fucking last. You're not proof against nothing, mate. Oh, yeah, here we go. What the fuck are you? Are you dead? He's dead, alright. I saw him and I was trying to turn, but this thing has terrible neutral steering, so I just couldn't really move the tank. And I was, like, trying to prioritise, you know, do I shoot the guy, do I shoot my, like, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do here. Right, here we go. Yeah, Aussie pride, cunt. <laughs> uh, I feel I feel like terrible for betraying my own, but you know, at the same time, I mean, Papa Stalin. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, that is beautiful. Let's see if I can range him properly. There. Is that not it? I don't know. He might have gone over. I know where these are going. Or maybe I'll just suck at aiming. I, I'm not really too sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's going way over. Fuck, I'm retarded. Oh, we'll, we'll do something different. Instead, we're going to do... Something a little like this. Hey, John. Oh, that, that Sherman is just... Please, stay in a straight line. Yep. <clears throat> that was just beautiful. Fucking... This thing, I just charge it and brawl. It's so much fun when it, like... Your armor is so trollish. Especially when you against allies. They, they have really no idea. Yep, bye. Goodbye. I think that was a Dickamax in the forest back there, so I'm kinda gonna be careful of exposing myself to it in case he sues me for defamation. What? A comet knocked me out? Fuck, GG, Johnny. Come G back in the PC-76 light tank and realise that we spawned in the wrong sector. Apparently there's like a tank over there. Obviously it's caused him trouble. I'm just going to, um... It's going to be a sneaky little cunt. What is that over there? It looks like some kind of side chin. Does he notice me? Maybe he doesn't. How much range do you think? How much drop do you think this will be? There? Papa Stalin got my shot. Yes! That was perfect! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, okay. Okay, Stalin... St Gaijube giveth, Gaijube taketh away, but... Alright, so we're in the Yak. In hindsight, I probably should have taken out the fucking... Like, a tank or something, but... 
I mean, most of the guys are dead, so I think they should be able to do some capturing. And like, if I can, if I can just kill some planes as well, that'd be really good. Yep, Daddy Stalin, there's one. Yep, there we go, finally got the fucking shot. Hey, you can suck me dick, mate. Well, you know. It's not really good footage, so I'll... we're in Daddy Stalin's very own IS-1 in Daddy Stalin's very own city, Stalingrad. Domination, three capture points. Let's see what we can get up to. I mean, the, the Russian bias is strong here. We've got Papa Stalin's number two model, Long Finger of Death, T-3485 with the patriotic markings. We've got equipment, Voroshilov. Um, hmm, Viz-6 model. That's an interesting choice. 107 millimeter gun, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Could be pretty good actually. Fuck, look at the size of the muzzle brake on that thing. That, that's such a cool tank. So yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. What's, what's the what's the what's the carriage in front of you, bro? Yeah. yeah no, in my opinion we should head over there right now. Because I think there's a really strong push towards the A point. And you know if, if we pop up behind them, I think it'll be even more effective. Showing that we can like flank their fucking asses while they're oblivious to our moves. Or they can spot me and one shot me through the front plate. I don't know. It's like you're just sort of playing to see what you can do. No, we don't comprehensively look before we before we corner, we just fucking corner. Have a go. Ooh. A little morsel has appeared in our sights. You are a traitor to the Union. Could have taken the shot. Could have, would have. Hell, I want the shot to be clean. Holy fuck. Well, German players wonder why they lose all the time. It's because they're physically blind. He drove past me. Holy fuck. He dro He could have ended my game. I didn't notice it. it was, I could have taken the L so hard there. Situational awareness wise. Nope. He's just taken an even bigger L and driven past it. Like, he was behind me, for sure. I seem to get the clearest shot on this guy, can I? Well, what we do? We're just going to sneak up behind the guy and fucking give him a good, good two-step goodbye. A surprise. Hang on. Tiger is a bigger threat to my existence than any fucking KV-1B will ever be, so you're going down. His gun breaches out. He, he's not fighting any more wars. Yep, he's down. All right, let's, let's deal with this tiger. Where's this Panther F? I'm hearing a lot of good things about him. Uh, there. Yep, and he's down. That's how you fuck up three. That's how you like destroy their push. But having said that, that that tiger could have given me the biggest L and just fucking ruined my game. If only he'd paid attention to the giant IS-1 heavy tank that was driving up on his right side. I don't understand how he missed me. I really don't. So guys, just a little bit of food for thought while, you know, I was editing this. I noticed that I called the KV-1B a traitor, but in actuality, I mean, all German, uh, sorry, Russian vehicles have the essence of Stalin in them. And he led me to kill two Tiger 1s, which are pretty much the bane of my existence in this tank. So without him driving slowly, methodically, yet fast enough so that I could catch, couldn't get the shot on him. <coughs> Sorry, um, I wouldn't have been able to kill those guys. So, hmm. See, I'm thinking we should go for. Yeah, we'll go to the B point. I, I just, I want to go where the tanks are, not where the tanks aren't. This isn't a flanker. This is a brawler. This is the biggest brawling, brawling vehicle. I don't know memes. Look what Papa Stalin has found here. A cowering verbal wind. Yes. Let's see if our machine gun can track him. If not, yeah, whatever. You don't exist anymore. So... We're going to meet up with uh, a Sherman in front of us here. It's an old family friend. What's this shot? Look at that. Like, that was beautiful. 
through buildings and everything. Just fucking pumped it. Oh. Like, I don't even care. He, he, can, he can go about his business. Like, do, do I do I even kill this guy? He's a, he's a liar. I don't I don't even want to kill him. Let's just let's just have a bit of mercy. Let's leave that guy because I, I don't even want to kill that guy. This asshole, on the other hand, this guy is fucking going down. <laughs> that poor that SBA by me is just like what what am I living for? What what am I doing with my life? Fuck that guy. He can suck a giant cock. Oh shit. He still has spawn protection. <coughs> He's still there, isn't he? He's still fucking there. Yeah, welcome to the jungle, big man. Are you, are you fucking for real? He moving. Yep, he done it. Uh. Goodbye. So someone did knock out that whirlwind. He was a good boy. He, he just he just fucking he just sat there. I was like, he knows he knows I killed him. He just sat there. He was like, nut, nah, nothing to do with it. So you know, guys, it's been fun. It's been a real joy driving Daddy Stalin's very own named IS-1 tank. Next time I make a video on an IS, it'll probably be Stalin's own part two with a nice big fucking. 122mm gun to bear. Bit of a different playstyle. I will miss just being able to brawl and kill multiple tanks with this thing, but you know, everything's got to change. Eventually, we'll get a T10M one day, maybe by next year. So, yeah. It's been your boy Garage Gaming. I hope you've enjoyed this little episode. Leave a like if you liked the content, dislike if you fucking hated it. Make sure to subscribe if you're interested, and I will see you all next time.